So we had a lightning strike here in Florida and uh, it blew the main control board and I had to replace it. It's running now but if you look right down here that little coil in the bottom left hand corner was uh, burned up and it kept on blowing the fuse right above it and uh, it was a I don't exactly know when the lightning strike occurred, but um, all of a sudden the AC didn't work. So I had to order a complete new unit, and on this one it's the EAX 6469107, which I ordered from LG Parts, and it was relatively painless. It was about 400 bucks for the part, but it took about a month and a half to get because I guess they had to get it out of Korea or Japan or wherever these things are made. Now $400 uh, for this entire assembly here that you're looking at is, uh, is pretty reasonable, I think. It's got a big heat sink on the bottom and uh, some big uh, power MOSFETs. And all the wires are color-coded and uh, basically all you have to do is pull all the wires you have to take the cover off of the uh, AC unit, which is pretty painless. There's the cover there. And of course you have to turn the power off. And you have to disconnect all these wires here, which are the wires that go to the blower unit and the power feed. And then you uh, take the screw out down here at the, at the bottom. And you take a couple of screws out over here. And this whole assembly comes out. You can't take just the black thing out. You got to take the frame and everything that goes with it. And once you do that and get the new unit, it's relatively painless to replace. Um, there's other. There's a whole technical manual online for troubleshooting this. And these two LEDs here are how you troubleshoot the unit. And uh, it's running perfectly now, but. If there's a problem with any component in the unit, one or both of these will flash in certain patterns and you simply look it up in the table and figure out what is wrong. Now of course the power supply on this board blew so nothing on this board worked and there was no trouble codes, it was just shot. And it was all burned down here in, in, the, uh, in this area, it was uh, quite a mess. So what I'm doing is I'm taking a, uh, I'm going to be putting a power uh, surge protector right on the uh, disconnect box so that anything that comes down the line from anywhere will be directed directly to ground via some uh, uh, MOVs in the, uh, in the surge protector. So I'm going to button this thing up. I've been inside and it's cooling nicely. And I just wanted to uh, do an update since I did a 30 minute video on how to install this thing about two years ago. Got 300,000 hits right now. Uh, these are great units, but if something does go wrong, it's not a simple fix like your regular, uh, regular plain old air conditioners. You got some serious, sophisticated electronics in here. And uh, if the whole board goes bad, you've got a serious problem. It took, like I said, this is the summertime. Uh, it's uh, late September now and I think it was uh, mid to early August when I ordered the part from LG Parts uh, Anderson uh, Electronics out in California. There's also one on the East Coast. I just chose the one in California. I don't know because. Uh, and of course once they got it they sent it to me in a couple of days but it took a long time for them to get it. So uh, that's the update on this uh, LG Mini Split. Uh, it's a two-ton unit. It's a great unit. It cools like heck. Uh, it cools this big old porch. There's about a thousand square feet in the porch with all these windows and it just keeps it really nice and cool. So uh, very happy with the unit. Really sorry about the lightning strike. And uh, it's all repaired now and my wife's going to be happy and I'm happy and uh, that's the end of the story.